Do you remember reading The Little Prince as a kid? The story of the curious little prince and his interplanetary journey has captivated generations of readers, both young and old. Now imagine diving back into that magical universe through the lens of the tarot. Today, we will explore how the tarot of the little prince can connect us to our inner child and encourages us to let go of the adult mask we've been forced to wear, all through the system of tarot. I'm Ruby and I am here to help you make better purchasing decisions through my deck reviews and tarot chats. Let's start with production quality. So the Tarot of the Little Prince is published by Los Carabeo. It comes in a tuck box and then you have a little guidebook as well as the deck, which the cards are a little bit smaller than regular sized tarot cards. The cardstock itself is flexible enough to that it shuffles really well, both overhand and riffle shuffle. Some People might think this cardstock is a little bit too thin. Personally, it's perfect for what I need and what I can handle with my mobility issues. Now let's take a look at the deck itself. The Terror of the Little Prince is a really cute story about this little prince who is leaving his own planet and through his journey he comes across all of these different people who are all adults and they all have these weird adult things that he just Things are, things are weird. Eventually he ends up on Earth where he meets the narrator of the story and eventually he is able to go back to his own planet. Now when it comes to the artwork on the cards themselves, there are a lot of cards where you can immediately see what part of the story that the card is referring to. But there are also a couple of cards where I am unsure of what exactly it is depicting. For example, some of the court cards are people that do not appear in a story, but I I do think that it's understandable because the story is really short. It's only 27 chapters, most of the chapters only a couple of pages long. There really aren't a lot of characters and there are basically no female characters apart from the rose on the little prince's planet. So a lot of the people who are depicted in the court cards don't actually appear in the story. But I do think that the creators of this deck just had to make do with what they had. That being said, I do think that the artwork of this deck is really pretty. I think it really suits the vibe of the story really well. And even though there are some scenes depicted in the cards and some people depicted in the cards that don't appear in the story, Story, I don't mind having them there because there are parts that I could sort of think up or think about that could make sense for within the story or at least to make sense of the tarot card. When we look at the back design of the cards we see the planet that the little prince is from and we see his rose, we see the volcanoes and we also see the planet earth that is visible from his own planet. Now let's take a look at the little guidebook that comes with this. It is fairly standard for Los Carabeo decks and guidebooks to come in multiple languages. I've talked about this before but I don't like it when they put multiple languages in one guidebook. Personally English isn't my first language but I purchased this deck in English so I want the guidebook to be in English if that makes sense. It also makes it that there sort of is an excuse to barely have any info in the guidebook which I think is a shame. So what we do have is a little introduction to the story of the little prince, how it combines with the tarot of the little prince. We get one three card layout, which I do think makes for a really good tarot spread and I definitely want to do that. And then it goes straight into the card meanings of the major arcana and the minor arcana. So you get like three to four sentences of an interpretation for each and personally, I prefer when a guidebook has keywords instead of an interpretation because I just think that it makes it easier to interpret your own cards, to have a couple of keywords per card in a reading instead of three pre-written interpretations that you sort of have to apply to your own situation, apply to your own question, which I often think is really difficult if you're a beginner tarot reader. And I will say that this is a deck that is linked to a book, to a story that already exists. So I would have expected for the card interpretation, for the card meanings, to include a little bit of the story of the little prince on which the card was based. But that is not actually the case. It usually isn't the case. I see here for the three of wands, it says the little prince tends the three volcanoes on asteroid B612, three representations of the element of fire. So there is that little bit 
of a link to the story and we see it in the seven of wands too because you have the lamp lighter so there are a couple of really small references but i honestly would have loved to see more so my overall thoughts on this tarot deck is that if you like the little prince the story of the little prince and you're interested in a tarot deck that tells its story then this might be for you i almost want to say that this deck is like perfect for inner child work because the story of the little prince lends itself so well for that but i like to see it instead of like inner child work is like almost inner adult work like right now i'm an adult and we are as adults almost pressure to take life so seriously and to take ourselves so seriously and i feel like the fun thing of the story of the little prince is that we don't have to take ourselves so seriously all the time and that if you look at these adults that take themselves super seriously like all these business and whoever people it's kind of silly and it's almost like a, a cosplay of what we want adults to look like so i don't know i think that reading the story just the story itself gives a lot of food for thought and i think that the deck can really help you within that practice of struggling with being an adult and i guess just trying to see the more magical things in life if you enjoyed the terror of the little prince you might also like the tarot of which i've done a review as well click the video on the screen right now to watch that subscribe to see more tarot chats and deck reviews thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time bye